For Tiffany Winchester, becoming one of the nation's best ultra-endurance cyclists wasn't planned. I got into the sport um, kind of by accident. It was a perfect combination for me of the really big challenge that was racing, but also not the pressure that was racing. She rode Sydney to Melbourne last year in one of her first long-distance rides, unknowingly qualifying for the Paris Brest Paris event. My first 600 that I did, I cried through a lot of it. My feet have like bad neuromas in it, I've got damage to my body. I was like, I'm never going to do this again. She'll now represent Australia in a few months in what's been described as the Olympics of ultra-endurance cycling. Probably 7,000 people that are going to enter it from over 60 countries in the world and it's a pretty, like it's only every four years, so it's got all the kind of the hallmarks of this massive event. She's aiming to ride 1,200 kilometres in just three days. This year I've done a couple more 600s and I've done a 1,000 and they went really, really well. She'll also be one of just a handful of Australian women to ride the prestigious long distance cycling event. The last few years we've had anywhere between sort of five and eight women total representing Australia. Between five and six percent of all entrants tend to be women. Shannon Schubert, Win News.